Hi, this is Judy and Mommy Dean, and I'm here to talk to you about the Google app that you can use in education called Blogger. Blogger is a free app, and it's very easy to use if you have a Gmail account. I originally came in uh, to Blogger from my Gmail account, and I noticed that there was these, these boxes within a square. When I clicked on more down here, I saw Blogger clicked on it, and I automatically um, uh, got the opportunity to sign up an account through my Gmail address. Now I have a former account uh, from the pa uh, from previously, but today I'm going to show you how to make a new blog. Now, just really um, quickly before I show you this demonstration, I just wanted to say that. Um, if you're going to use this as a personal blog, your Gmail account is perfectly fine. That's all you need to get started. However, if you're going to use this with students, then you, the students are going, are going to need a Gmail account in order to access the blog. Okay? So um, that will be something that you'll have to do ahead of time. Um, one more thing that you want to think about when you create this blog is um, who are going to be the contributors to this blog. Again, if it's just you, then it's just your Gmail address, no worries. If, however, you want this to be a student um, blog, then your students will have to go through the setup process through their Gmail account. And also, if students want to have a collaborative blog, which I'll show you later how to do that, then you're going to have to add authors to it so that they can access the same blog. Um, okay, so let's get started. The first thing new, you need to do is you need to create a title and a web address for your blog. I'm going to create one about life in Laos. The intention of my blog is going to be talking about um, um, issues of poverty, perhaps, because I want to talk about the sustainability goals set forth by the United Nations. And so maybe this will be a reflective blog about life in Laos. Oops, sorry, this blog address is not available. You see that over there? So let's take another uh, crack at this web address. I'm going to say my life in Lao blogs. So, oh, that too is also not available. Okay. Um, how about I say something like living in Lao? Let's see. No. Oh, boy. Really cracking my uh, head on this one today. Okay. Let's try. Um, hmm, I'm going to say poverty in Lao. Not a very cheerful, oof, not a very cheerful web address, but just for today's demo, let's go there because that's the intention of this particular blog. Now I'm going to choose now a theme. I'm going to choose notable because I like that color and I'm going to create it. So here we go. We have now started um, our digital footprint with this blog. Let's go through a few things uh, on the dashboard. You see post, all, stats, which will show you how many people are uh, looking at the blog, where they're from, those sorts of details. You have comments, which you can moderate if you're an administrator on the account. Earnings, this is great if you want to do some business uh, on it. Pages, so you have more than one page for your website. This is sort of evolving it from a blog to a website now. Layout, where you can modify your theme. You can change your theme. I'm going to go into settings, though. That's sort of the first important thing you need to do with students. You have your title. This will be the header on your on your web page, and then you can add a description to it later, um, sort of like the, the purpose of the blog. I'm gonna go down here though to where it says permissions, and permissions is really important. Now, as a teacher, you should probably be an administrator on the blog, and then you can add those other authors, which would be the students on there, um, either one student or multiple students. I'd also like to draw your attention to blog readers, I think you should probably edit this so that it's not public. Now you could have this only for your class students, um, or you can open it to the learning community and have parents involved. Uh, once you do that, then um, 
um, you are ready to go. I'm, I'm going to hit public just because um, I'm just doing this as a demo. Other things you can look at, you can look at posts and sharings. How many posts will you sh uh, share? Um, is there going to be any sort of features to it? Um, you can use Google Plus to get on there and you can share it on there, publicize it there. Um, you can moderate these things. Email, you can send blog posts via email. You can change it different languages and time zones. Um, uh, you can go on um, uh, search preferences. This is really important, uh, perhaps for the mon monetizational features. Oof, mouthful. And then there's other sorts of things that are um, important um, for uh, tagging your blog and then use your settings. Okay, I'm gonna go into posts now really quick. So let's do our first post. And let's say that I have assigned my students to, um, to write a post about our, our trip to the dump site. So let's say we wanted to find out what trash tells us about issues of poverty in our community, and I want them to reflect on it. So they're gonna write something. And hopefully it's interesting and useful because you're going to go back and you can look at it. You can label this as a, maybe a field trip. You can schedule it into different um, times. Um, you can schedule it in advance for a different date, or you can schedule it right then and there when they publish it. Um, it might be helpful if you want to review the blogs, if you, this was going permanent, I mean, excuse me, if this was going public, you might want to set a date and time in the future to give you some time to actually go through and give some feedback to the student before it goes public. Um, if you understand what I mean by that, so that there's real quality going out on the website, um, you can have your, uh, your location, you could add permalinks, um, and other options would include other features of it in terms of having comments on it and so on. You'll notice on, um, on here on your dashboard or your little um, toolbar here, there's all sorts of wonderful features that you can do. You can add photos, you can add videos. Um, so if, if the students uh, took videos and photos of the dump site when they went, they could talk about it, embed those things in there. Um, you can also change scripts on here and add different language features on there as well. There's all sorts of nifty things that you can do with this. Once you're ready, if you just hit save, it will save as a draft. If you hit publish, it's going right on the web. And if you want to see what it looks like, you'll hit pre preview. Um, just for the sake of time, I will leave that alone and um, sort of leave you with those basic tools um, to get you started with Blogger. Um, once you get back onto your, you save it, you can go back into your dashboard. You will notice it is saved as a draft. And you can also um, see some other features uh, uh, with the tags and such. It should be on there actually. Oh, there it is, field trip. So later on when you have multiple uh, blogs on here, the labels are super helpful to help you search for it. Um, let me just go, if you wanted to add more pages to there, you could. Um, the layout also would be um, an opportunity for, for the kids to really demonstrate some creativity. On there you can see we have some, some sorts of gadgets um, here where the kids can monitor, um, can sort of do some more writing in there and decide whether or not they want it to be visible. If the eye is there, that means it's going to be visible um, to other readers. They can design um, what kind of posts come up and things of that nature. So this is what the whole web page would look like. Okay, so I think I've given you um, a good overview of Blogger. If you have any questions for me, please make comments in um, the comments below. Thanks so much. I hope you have fun using it.